dark, depressing winter. Here we go. sit at this 24-hour diner and eat by myself like have a country fried steak and eggs and maybe a milkshake with a cherry on top that like embodies a christmas tree and ho 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 happy holidays to me howdy y'all it's your boy nate i read books because reading is sexy and if you're not reading you're not sexy i'm in my my sunday hoodie my Sunday cap because I didn't wash my hair. Appropriately lit thick Sunny's book truck pick up pick up some merch. Fun fun stuff on the shop there. Uh, but yeah, okay. Here to do a very ambitious winter reading list. But let me tell you, let me tell you that for my fall reading list, I read pretty much every single book off that list. I think I did. Minus one or two. But for the most part, we did good. We did good. For winter, I'm thinking about wintering. Yep, groundbreaking. But I feel like wintering is um, a time where we are hoarding what is necessary to us, hoarding warmth, what keeps us warm, but also what reminds us of the cold. Um, I feel like wintering is this reminder that learning is an ongoing practice. Patience is required in the day for the bones to make use of the cold, find movement, and essentially, yeah, find warmth. So I don't think any of these books really have warmth to them i don't know again i keep these things vague but just give you a sneak peek i found that a lot of the books that i chose were black and then um little spurts of uh, pink and red to keep me warm uh, but wanted to do this video before before the snow falls in korea but oh look at look at this nice yellow on top it's like a little gold star it was my christmas tree if you will um, but yeah, let's let's get to talking. Martyr. Who, who is this one? Kave Akbar. This is out by Knopf next month. No, wait, I'm still in November. <laughs> January. This is out in January of 2024. Martyr. Yeah, this is in the reading list because I want to read it before January hits us. Deciding whether or not this might become a fave of the year. Um, I don't want to know much about it, but I, I did it because it's the star of the stack. And y'all, look at this little guy. Look at the little guy. He says, a novel. There he is. Little cutie patootie. Excited to read this. Next up, we got The Faggots and Their Friends Between Revolutions. I first heard about this from Hunter Schaefer, your homegirl at Euphoria, who's now in the Hunger Games. Like, y'all, y'all, they done did that. They done did that. And yeah, they mentioned that this is one of their like favorite books. So I was like, why not? It's a lot of fun. There's like drawings on the inside. And I don't really want to know what this is about either. But I just love how striking the title is. And it's uh, this like delicious apple red, which looks perfect, I think, for Christmas. Probably not something you'd bring to a family Christmas party, though. We'll say that. Unless uh, you're coming out. You're coming out of that closet for Christmas. Okay. Yena, are we doing this? We've got A Certain Hunger by Chelsea G. Summers. I thought I was going to read this around Thanksgiving because that makes sense, y'all. Ah. Yena did give this to me, Modern Ajma. Thank you. Oh, no, oh, this was one of the uh, books in my fall list that I did not read, but I think this does nicely for winter as well. Something about paintings for the covers of books. Will it do it to me? Will it do it to me? If anyone remembered, I was on a big Didion run. We have not finished the Didion. Okay, maybe I didn't read all my fall books, y'all. But we got Joan Didion's Miami. Chose this specifically for uh, the red Miami, giving me warmth for winter. And that's that's what it's given. And I, I love this picture of Joan there. She's gorgeous. I am uh, near the end of Didion's entire bibliography and that frightens me because then there'll be no more new Didion to read. This will be one of the last few Didions within my bibliography. Next up is Paul Takes the Form of a Mortal Girl by Andrea Lawler. I found through CJ and Melissa Broder. If you look at one of her story highlights on her Instagram, this is deemed as one of her favorites. So yeah, very excited. But I think um, this plays with 
queerism, the changing of bodies and sex, and should be should be fun. Really excited to look at this. Also in the same brain is The Fifth Wound by Aurora Mattia. Yeah, and it's still in its shrink wrap. <laughs> I haven't taken it out, mostly to protect it. Yeah, also chose this simply because it's uh, red, so hoping this brings some kind of warmth. But it is a phantasmological roman, a clef about passion as a way of life. Ooh, that does sound warm. Don't want to know what this is about, really, so excited to do that. Then we have Eileen. This is my last mosh veg, y'all. Once I read this, I'll have finished all of mosh veg's novels slash novellas. Kieran told me I should read this when snow falls because there is snow in the book and um, I'm dying to get to it. I'm dying to get to it because I really want to see the movie. Oof, Eileen. But woman obsesses over another woman and uh, y'all know what kind of characters she writes so that should be a lots of fun. Okay, this book I found at Target, but never, like I saw it at Target in the $5 bin, you know? You know what I'm talking about? And I want to do it, because it seems twee. <laughs> this is called Last Night at the Lobster, and the whole book takes place at the last night of a red lobster. Four days before Christmas, set in a rundown New England mall. Perfect, perfect for winter, if you ask me. It was a book that like I was always aware about, curious about, and now, now I'm, uh, I'm finally gonna do it. I'm gonna see what all the, the old hoopla was about. I think this was like released in the early 2000s? 2007. Also doing Nightwood by Juna Barnes. I have wanted to read this also for the longest time, but I wanted to get this specific edition. I found it at uh, one of those like Instagram shops that like curate books and then like makes you pay a ludicrous amount of money for the book. I believe when I saw this on their site it was like $45 but I found this for like two bucks at one of those like library sales or something. But yes, Gina Barnes, Nightwood. Is this depressed woman moving? But there's an introduction by T.S. Eliot so that that's fun. Dark depressing winter, here we go. Also doing John Keane's Punks, a collection of poems. First heard of this when I was with Sophie. I bought this with Sophie at, uh, is it Unnamed Books? Anyway, one of her favorite bookstores in Brooklyn. And she had found out about this book from Matt Sharapa. So little cute, little cute booktube, darling, and can't wait to get to it. I don't know, this also screamed winter to me. I don't know why, but I love this cover so much. I love me some good poetry for winter. Yum, yum, yum. Next up we have Hurricane Scene to, what did I just say? Hurricane Season by Fernanda Mel Chor. I've read uh, Paradise, I think. Yes, earlier, was it this year or last year? Was it this year? I think it was this year, which I loved. I, I think uh, I think I was waiting till winter to, to get to this one because it's about atmosphere and it's cold. That says it all, doesn't it? That's winter. All right. Okay, last book is After Tonight, Everything Will Be Different by Adam Nade. I chose this because it's giving like lonely meal at the diner vibes. Like I can't spend Christmas with my family. So let me just like sit at this 24 hour diner and eat by myself. Like have a country fried steak and eggs and maybe a milkshake with a cherry on top that like embodies a Christmas tree. And ho, 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 happy holidays to me. Yeah, that's, that's what this is giving to me. Uh, this is, I found on, uh, my friend sent me a TikTok about this book and the way that it was described in the video, I was like, ooh, that is me. Like I've done that before. I've definitely spent, I think either a New Year's or Christmas at a Mel's Diner, cause it's 24 hours, just <laughs> sat and ate by myself. Ho, 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 happy holidays. Anyway, that's the stack y'all. I think that's like the fastest video I've ever made. What are you reading for winter? Do you got, you got a list? I don't know when I'll put this out, but like December's approaching, last month of the year. Yeah, what are you, what are you sticking in as a last read before we start 2024? Crazy. Can you believe that the year is ending? Wild. There goes another year. Would love to know. Let me know what you're reading for winter, what, is a comfort read for you for winter? What books keep you warm? 
let me know because it can, can it keep me warm too i want to know anyway as always be well do good work keep in touch